Yo, yo, yo. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So, today I got you guys a UI video. I haven't done one before, but I've had several of you guys ask me multiple times, you know, what UI am I using? So, I had one of you guys ask me to make a video. So, I thought, hey, why not? Let me show you guys what I'm using. Um, so, these are the ones I'm using currently on the current patch, which is 10.1. Um, I'll go down the list, show you guys what I'm using. If there's any of them that I can export, uh, just go down to the bottom of the description and just copy and paste. So without further ado, uh, let's go down the list of what I'm using. I don't, I don't use much. Um, I like to keep my stuff simple. I like to be able to see my character when I'm playing. I've seen several people. I don't know. You know, I've, I've seen some videos and I'm like, dude, like, how do you play? Because <laughs> it'd be like so many things on your screen. So I try to use the mainly the important ones. I PvP a lot. So let me show you guys. All right. So starting at the top, uh, PBM ones, these right here are just PVE. Um, they help, they help out in raids and dungeons and they have like a little voice pack that tells you to get out the way and whatnot, whatever. Um, next I got arena master. I'm not using this currently, but I use it sometimes. I uh, just to inspect other players, you know, when I'm playing solo, see what their history is. I got auctionator. Helps me out in the auction house. Easy to sell things. Uh, I'm using bartender, which is this right here. Um, I'm able to set it up this way. Take off the, the blizzard parts. I hate those. Um, let me jump into bartender real quick so I can show you guys. So right click bartender right here. So I'm currently using bar one, two, three, four, five. I'm using up to six, I believe. Yeah. I got two here, and then I got four here. Um, I go to Blizzard Art Bar. I turn that off. See, it's that thing at the bottom. And then I just adjust it accordingly. Let's see, profiles. I don't think I can export this one. Yeah, I don't think so. So, but yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, I just line them up together. Uh, when I go to edit mode, as you can see, I got bar one, two, three, six, and then my five and four. Okay. Let's go back. So that's bartender. Um, I have better character and inspect frames. So this one's kind of like a three pack. Um, so if you can see, I'll show you my character screen. This is bigger. So it's a bigger screen. I can see my character better. Um, and as well as uh, lets me see the mods in here, well, enchants, I should say, of what my gear currently has. So I know which ones I have automatically and which ones I'm missing. That usually shows some different language one right here. That means it's missing. So, but that's what it looks like. Um, so it's like a three pack that I got for it. So, so it can look that way. All right, let's see. Um, big debuffs that's a that's a really important one i use that a lot in pvp um blizz move i actually have it turned off i don't know why i should turn that back on um that's that for me was a game changer when i got it i'll show you guys you know, sometimes you just want to move shit out the way you know like for example you know how the character screen always shows on the left side you can just drag it you know put anywhere you want that's super important and it actually stays, you know, like if you left it here, exit out, do it again, it stays where you left it previously. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, BTW quest. That's these two are another PVE. That's it pops up here. It's a little symbol up here. You can click on it, show you what quest you're missing. Whenever I'm bored and just want to do some quests, I'll turn that on. Um, character. Oh, that's part of the three pack. Like I told you guys. So character info enhancer, that's the one that lets you show your enhancement, your um, enchants, and then big character info and better character. So those, that's like the three pack. Install those three together to get my character screen. Um, Cursor trail, I only use that on um, some some of my characters, not all of them. It shows like you can change the options. It shows like a little cursor, it highlights your cursor. I usually, I usually use it on my hunter. Um, you know, because I've placed a lot of traps, so I like to see where my mouse is. Um, what else? And then there's details um, for damage meter. That's this right here. See how much damage 
you're doing and you know see what you're doing and compare with other people um that all comes together uh doji questing this is another one i turn on when i'm questing whenever i'm questing I turn this one on helps a lot it does um it auto turns in your quest and a whole bunch of other things you can do um gladius that's a must that's for pvp um handy notes dragonfly treasure uh this is um just to find the treasures out in the world for dragonflight so i was doing that early beginning and i had to find all the you know the glimpse and stuff like that it was easy to find them um max dps so this one it's a it's like a rotation helper uh it's usually download two you download the first one which is max dps helper and then whatever class you want to do it i don't use it anymore because i know my rotation but it's really nice to have when you start a new class and you, you don't know what buttons to press to get the max damage it helped me out a lot when i was learning all the other classes so that's pretty cool uh we got nice damage reloaded so i'll show you guys what that looks like um it's pretty cool it's just a long amount it's just better than the regular blizzard numbers in my opinion also i'll just throw something at it see it's just like i don't know it looks more bolder more modern to me better numbers so that's that the uh quest completionist completus that's another one shows you what quest you're missing uh raider io that's another pve one all these are PvE. they're all together um that you inspect of the players see what their highest mythic dungeon is and stuff like that uh raven and raven options that's a good one um is to show you your buffs so i currently have three buffs at the bottom sometimes it's, you know you're in the middle of the game and it's hard to look up here you can set it you can set it up um i only i don't there's so much you can do but i only do the combat bar so i go here and then i add i added these three buffs for my warrior because i like to know when i actually have the buff so for example if i'm doing you know a raging blow i get this right here and if i pop i pop uh recklessness see it pops up here so i know that those are active so that's pretty cool let's see um so that's raven then there's threat plates uh so that's these guys so you can get the help bar and then show the the non the non enemy players it usually has a color with their name on them uh right off the bat when you download this add-on it does not look like this so i'll i'll be sure to add i know this is one you can export so i'll be sure to add, put that one down in the description so but that's just for better health bars and you know better names on characters you can easily tell you know players class without having to inspect them or anything like that um what else yeah, play uber ui so that's so that's this black frame you see right here around the borders so that's a cool one um let me see if i can go to the option add-ons uber ui so currently I have it, I think max darkness. Yep. So I have it at zero. Um, and then you can just copy the settings if you want it. I just have it on smooth, the plate numbers and high target reputation color. So that's the only ones I have on. And that gives it this little black appearance. Just clean looking in my opinion. I don't have that silver border. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, and then there's weak orders, of course. I haven't really got to use much. I never, I haven't i'm still to this day trying to find a good week order to use but there's that um world quest tracker um and world quest list that's pretty it's pretty good i like using that one a lot sometimes um so for example you can just see what's currently out you know this is just all the quests all the items the rewards you can get from you know doing a world quest pretty cool but that pretty much summarizes my ui um you know, it's pretty simple stuff uh i like I like to just have it clean uh, my current edit mode if you wanted to see that um i got my stance bar my party frames my name my character i like to keep my buffs up here um it's just so hard to see it on this side so i just look i just move it a little bit this side um if you want i think this is one i can um let me see yeah i can x share it i can export it so i'll I'll be sure to put that one down in the description if you guys want to copy 
what it looks like. But yeah, um, that concludes the video, you know, just showing you guys my UI and what I use. But yeah, man, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you stay this long, uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel out. Let me get more content, content out for you guys. So yeah, any questions, concerns, you know, feel free to type it down in the comment. If you have any ideas or about videos that you want to see, let me know. Later.